welcome to another Bullet Point special coming to you once again from Monaco. We saw a great race weekend with Sebastian Vettel taking yet another win of the season. His first here in Monaco, the one that every driver wants to get. We had a chance to talk to one of the main protagonists involved. <laughs> It's amazing to win this Grand Prix. It's, you know, all the Grand Prix have the same points, but uh, some are a little bit more special than others. And Monte Carlo is the, the, the jewel in the crown of Formula One. And you know, to win the Grand Prix the way Sebastian did today was something you know, quite fantastic and uh, a very special day for him as well, his first uh, Monaco Grand Prix victory. But he came into the pits and they didn't know what tyres they needed to be putting on the car. So he ended up with a set of primes on the car, which weren't what we intended and it was almost like going up to the casino and putting everything on red and uh, he made it work and it, you know it was down to his driving today and uh, but he managed to make the tires go that long. Well today you've got the pressure of racing in Monaco with uh, you know the barriers only millimeters away you've got um, you know tires that are degrading um, you know a lot of uh, debris on the circuit as well huge pressure from behind and, uh, you know, Sebastian dealt with all of that without any problem. And um, I think that's just how he's developing, how he's, you know, how he's growing, you know, as a person, as a driver, that he's just got stronger and stronger. And for me, it was uh, one of the, the, the most intelligent drive I've seen him, him race in his short career. Well, Sebastian and I have got to find a uh, dinner jacket to go for a dinner with uh, Prince Albert to collect his trophy. And um, we'll be there for a couple of hours, and then I'm sure there'll be a good party tonight. As you can see, it's <laughs> uh, you know it's already started. Sebastian Vettel is the defending F1 world champion, coming and leaving Monaco as the championship leader. So, of course, all of his sponsors wanted to do something special with him over the race weekend, and we got exclusive rights to take a look at Sebastian Vettel being a model. Sebastian Vettel is not your typical F1 star. He's not into the glamorous world he finds himself in, and he doesn't particularly enjoy being on camera all the time. But every once in a while, it's part of his job to do just that. During the race weekend in Monaco, he had a photo shoot on a boat for one of his sponsors. It's new to me, you know, it's not, you know, what I do every day. Obviously, I feel much more comfortable inside the car, but it was quite, you know, quite good fun. Uh, it was very straightforward, not, you know, not, not that difficult in a way because I just had to pose a little bit, not, not that much. And um, yeah, you know, the, the photographer made my life quite easy. And not only did the photographer, but the girls around him certainly did as well. Another good thing for Fettel, he got to wear what he would normally wear day to day. More or less what we, you know, what I, what I, what I've worn today. Obviously, uh, you know, not always that stylish, but uh, usually very, very casual. You know, uh, yeah. I think it's normal. You know, when you're at home, then it doesn't really matter that much. So I, you know, most of the time jeans and a shirt, and when you go out, then jeans and maybe a nice shirt. So uh, you know, it's not that much difference. But surely, when you go out, you try to. You know, look nice. With Seb wearing what he likes, being surrounded by nice models, he obviously felt relaxed enough to give the photographer just what he wanted. I, I just kind of asked them to be themselves, to be honest with you, which and because Sebastian's really cheeky and he's got a great personality. So, to be honest with you, I just tried to get that personality on camera um, and to be relaxed, which he was. And Fettel also stayed relaxed throughout the rest of the weekend, as he proved on track on Sunday. An ordinary guy like Fettel obviously has what it takes to handle the glitz and glamour. Now from wonderful Monaco to beautiful Brazil. In the capital Brasilia, the X-Fighters celebrated their second stop of the season. Of course, we were there for you as well and can now bring you all the very best of the action. <laughs> The capital of Brazil became the capital of freestyle motocross when the city of Brasilia hosted stop number two of the Red Bull X Fighters 2011. As the sun set on the spectacular architecture of the city, more than 100,000 people streamed to the event site to witness a freestyle motocross contest like no other. Semi-final number one with Levi Sherwood against Robbie Madison. Maddo put on a clinic having a near-perfect run 
To the elation of the fans, he got the nod and advanced to the final. In semi number two, Andre Villa is up against Nate Adams. Nate Adams is not called the destroyer for no reason. He came, he rode, he conquered. He takes a decisive win over Villa to advance to the final. First to ride in the final is Robbie Madison, and again, he puts on a clinic. This was one of the best runs we have seen from Maddo in a while, and he did not make it easy for Nate Adams coming into these finals. His run was picture perfect with few mistakes, so it would be up to the destroyer to step it up in the final run. Nate took it to a whole new level, starting his run with a one-hand takeoff to one-hand flip on the super kicker, and he only added to that opener with a spectacular final run. When the dust settled and the votes were counted, Nate the Destroyer Adams took the win in a closely fought final. The biggest crowd ever in freestyle, and I won. And the course was like Texas. I loved it, a big course, lots of dirt. And uh, I feel good, I don't really, uh, it hasn't soaked in yet. I'm just trying to chill out and uh, be happy. Nate Adams, the champion from stop number two here in Brasilia, another history-making Red Bull X Fighters event. Wreckers Yard is a contest for graffiti artists. In Australia and New Zealand, they're looking for the best right now. The first of seven qualifiers in the two countries has just been held and we watched them spray some walls. Wreckers Yard is an event series in Australia and New Zealand where they seek to find the best graffiti artists the two countries have to offer. The first qualifier was held in Wellington, New Zealand. In each of the 10 rounds with head-to-head -head battles, the artists have to implement a theme in only 12 minutes. But obviously, it's still enough time for many of them to achieve quite a lot. Three, two, one! As much as I know, as I just competed, it's very short, 12 minutes. You think it's quite long, but it's not. It's a little bit shorter than you think. <laughs> The one who impressed the judges most was Yelt. But the artist seemed quite surprised and a little confused about his win. And it's pretty unreal, man. Like, this is... what? Like, am I here? What? Yeah, it's fun. It's awesome. As soon as he's focused again, he'll travel to Melbourne for the Wreckers Yard final on June 25th. I'm sad to say that's it from the Cote d'Azur. We hope you've enjoyed the bullet point special from the Monaco Grand Prix. I'll be back in the studio tomorrow bringing you all the latest from around the world. I'll see you then. Goodbye.